Now I know that if this result of this check is not equal to zero, um, then there was a bit of ground at my feet. So I check whether the result that is get one object at offset will return either the object at my feet or null if there was no object. And so I check whether I got an object or whether I got null. If I get anything other than null, um, then there was an object of type ground, so I'm standing on firm ground. Let's try that out. Um, we compile this again. And now I put some ground in. I put a penguin in. We are not standing on firm ground at the moment. If I um, invoke the on ground method, it says false. I'm not on ground. And if I put him here and now select on ground, it says true. Yes, we are on firm ground. So what I can do now is here in my um, source code where I now have a test that sees that checks whether I'm standing on firm ground. I don't want to fall immediately. I want to rather check whether I should be falling. Um, so I just call that check fall. And my check fall method I have to write now. So always um, when you work create um, very small dedicated methods and that will give you a better code structure. So here I'm not doing that straight in the act method. I will instead do that um, here in a separate method. So again I'm creating a method and that is this time check fall. And I write here the body for my method. And what I'm saying here is now if I'm on ground then I want to stop falling and I'll um, think in a second about how I do that. And else if I'm not on ground then I want to fall. Um, now the what I have to do when I'm actually on firm ground is if I was falling, then the fall should stop. So I set my vertical speed to zero here. Okay, let's try that out. So here in my act method, I am now checking whether I should fall. My check fall looks like this. If I'm on um, firm ground, then I set my vertical speed to zero and otherwise I start to fall. Let's try that out. If I compile this now, oops, I have a, an error here. It says cannot find symbol and there I can see there's actually a spelling error in here. Forgot an R, so I try that again. This time it compiles. Let's put some ground in here. Let's put our pengo on top and if I run this and now you see we're not falling down. I can with my left and right arrow key make him move left or right and if I go over the edge we're falling down. Um, what we can also do um, if I have this ground and I have another bit of ground here and now I take a pango and put him up here and I run this and I run off here. We see that once we hit this ground we stay on that ground and then we fall down again. Okay so we have now um, the ability to check whether we are standing on ground and we have the ability to fall down if we're not standing on ground. The last thing that I want to add now is the ability to actually jump up. So when I hit say the space bar on my keyboard then I want to jump. So in my check keys method I add another key based action um, just by copying this out here um, and say if I hit the space bar I don't want to change the image at all, so this, this line I can just leave. And what I want to do then is I want to jump. And now jump again is a method that I haven't got yet. So every time you write a new code, you know, do solve it one um, bit at a time. So here I'm doing the key checking here and I'm deferring the actual jumping to a separate method. 
So here now I'm implementing my jump method and I have to think about what needs to go into this jump method and now I said at the very beginning jumping is a lot like falling because what I need to do is I just need to give myself an upwards movement um, and when I have an upwards movement um, then I just let gravity do the rest so it will at the moment when I'm falling um, my vertical speed always gets slowly increased I jump by initially giving myself a vertical speed that is um, negative minus something let's say um, wha what do we want to say let's say we start with minus 16 um, and now the vertical speed was going down so using a negative vertical speed is giving me a motion a vertical motion upwards and so I'm just giving myself a vertical motion of minus 16 is up and then I just invoke fall because fall will move myself as we can see here or, uh, vertically using the vertical speed by having minus 16 will now move myself up um, that will do two things it will move myself up but also it will move me from firm ground from then on I do not I'm not on firm ground so in every subsequent step I will fall which means my vertical speed will slowly um, be influenced by the acceleration so because we are moving up the upward speed will be decreased until it comes to standstill and then will come down again um, let's try that out so if I'm putting ground in here now I'm putting penguin on top and I run this I can go left and right with my arrow keys and now I'm hitting my spacebar and I see um, I'm going up I, I jumped fairly high up I hit the ceiling there so I'm just dragging this a bit further down and try again spacebar and there I'm jumping oops um, I just fell past the ground here so there's a still a little bug in there so um, I was also jumping a bit higher than what I had intended so typically I want to experiment with the actual number here a bit um, it is better practice not to type the number indirectly but to use a, a variable or a constant for this let's say I call it jump strength and then I make myself up here a variable for it it's then just a lot easier later to find it if I want to change it and 16 I just decided was a bit too much so let's take 13 or so oh let's take take 12 as a, an attempt and see what this does so if I now um, put in a bit of ground here and I put in my penguin on top and I hit the spacebar and yeah, now I can jump and now if now I take another bit of ground oops here and I put it here and I run I and I can jump and I can jump and go over here and I can down there and fall down okay um, if you look at the Greenfoot website at greenfoot.org and look for the video tutorials you can find the source code that I have presented here in this tutorial today at that website and can download it and play with it yourself. That is all for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.